Good morning, Guy and Tigers. I miss you guys. I thought I would challenge your family today with a would you rather question. Would you rather have a car that flies or can travel underwater and why? Remember to stay safe and healthy and wash your hands. Hope to see you soon. Hi guys, Mrs. Johnson here. I have an awesome trick for you that I learned from my dad. I have a stack of eight quarters right here. I'm gonna put them on my elbow and make them go to my hand. Let's see if you can try it too. Ready? There you go. All eight quarters. Hi kids, this is Mrs. Earlston, and I'm going to show you a project that my own children have been working on while we've been stuck at home. They used their problem solving skills to build a large fort. Uh, they used sheets, clothespins, and a canopy. You would not need to use a canopy, you could just use whatever you have around your house. We're kind of lucky it's in our basement so it's out of the way, but possibly you could do this in your bedrooms. So we're going to start with the driveway. So we're walking down the driveway and now here is the front door. Now we're in the mudroom. And now if you can see, these are our walls. And our ceiling. This area here is where my family gathers every night while we're stuck here and we pick out a family movie to watch on our TV which is right over here. So I hope you've enjoyed your tour and I hope some of you become inspired to try something like this at your own homes. Stay healthy. We miss you. Hi Guy and Tigers, this is Ms. Ryder and Maddox. We're here to show you a math number game. So this game is called Top It and all you need is a deck of cards in front of you. Now I went ahead and took out the Jack, Queen, and Kings, but you could use those and give each of those a different value if you'd like. So what we're gonna do is we'll show you a, different, a couple different ways to play this. One way is by turning over just one card and seeing which number is the highest or which number tops it. So I got an ace, which in this game is a one. I seven. Which number is greater? Seven. Seven, so Maddox gets those cards. I'm also gonna show you how to do addition top it. So this time I'm gonna flip over two cards and I got three plus four. And I got six. Okay, so you add yours together while I add mine together. Okay, so you got 6 plus 9 equals 15, and I got 3 plus 4 equals 7. So which one has a greater sum? Yours. So you get those cards. You can do this a few different ways. You could do two-digit addition or even higher. Um, you could do multiplication to see which numbers are which which numbers are greater. You could also find the number that is lower by doing subtraction or division. So we hope that you enjoy these math games and um, are staying healthy and safe. And we hope to see you soon. Bye. Hi guys, we miss you all. Make sure that you're getting out and enjoying this nice spring weather and some fresh air. Say hi, buddy. See ya. Hi, Guy and Tigers. Mrs. Connor here. I'm going to be reading you a poem from a book called My Tooth is Loose. It's a book of funny poems that you can read instead of doing your homework. No, I am not encouraging you to not do your homework, but it is important to take a break. The poem is called Worms. Worms are juicy, worms are neat. Worms are really good to eat. I like them boiled, I like them fried. I like them any way I've ever tried. So when I'm hungry and my tummy churns, I open up a can of worms. Have a great day, boys and girls. How do lobsters get to the airport? By Taxi Crab. Galleon Primary wanted to tell everybody we love you and we miss you. Keep active, keep reading, keep up with your schoolwork. Until next time, tigers.